Good morning guys, so today's Friday, September 15th, um, it's like 5 a.m. right now, for some reason I woke up early and can't get back to sleep, so I'm just going to start my day, I'm going to go hit cardio um, a little early, usually I have to like, do cardio, shower at the gym, and then I, uh, you know, just head straight out to work, but instead I'm going to get to come home, I'm going to have breakfast, I'm going to make some eggs that will replace some of my food. But today is going to be a, today's a low carb day, so I'm going to show you everything I eat today, and that's what today's video is going to be about, and a little physique update, because today is the day I take pictures for my coach, and <clears throat> I'm going to do like, you know, practice a little posing routine, but yeah, so a little physique update, and low carb day, full day eating today. And I'm about to weigh in right now, um, if you've seen the last video, I was stuck at 209 I think I was 209.2 .2, and actually the next day after that I was 209 again but then yesterday morning I dropped down to 206.8 which is great um, hoping this morning to be 206 uh, maybe something like that it, it is a little earlier than I usually weigh in so that might affect things but I'm gonna step on the scale and I'll show you guys what it is 205.6 Yeah, so 205.6, uh, that's a great weigh-in So all I'm about to do now is um, you know, Take my you know, morning vitamins, my supplements, and then Make myself a little coffee, and then I'm going to head off to the gym to do my cardio And then I'm going to come back home and I'll show you guys my first meal Before I go off and do my cardio, um, I thought I'd show you the supplements I take in the morning Just uh, that goes along with food and nutrition, so um, what I take here is I got my fish oil, my daily vitamin, uh, yohimbine is like a, for a fat burning, uh, MSM for jo healthy joint health, uh, it's like a natural remedy kind of thing, uh, I got from rock bottom, and then I got creatine monohydrate, and uh, this is what I take every morning. Before I uh, start my day, there's a couple other things I take during the day. Um, I take uh, BCAs when I'm working out now, and I take like these two supplements um, to help me sleep. Uh, I'll show you those, might as well. <clears throat> I got this like it's anti stress and it calms you down a little bit um, and then I got sleep optimizer so sometimes I wake up to like go to the bathroom and then I wake up uh, and then I'm hungry so just these things have helped me like be able to go back to sleep easier and uh, so it has been very helpful uh, James at rock bottom hooked me up with those I highly recommend them and they do work because um, I was having a lot of trouble sleeping but these things have definitely helped uh, what else? Um, I take. Uh, here's two things that are pretty important. Um, and this is it. Here. I take these with my carb meals. Any meals, pretty much above 40 grams of carbs. I take uh, one of these, berberin and alpha. What's it called? Alpha, like whatever it is. But they but they're supposed to help with like uh, carb um, digestion and insulin levels or whatever. I'm not exactly sure honestly, but my coach put this on the list. Pretty much all of this my coach put on the list, so that's what I got. Um, yeah, and that's it for supplementation. But I'm about to run off to cardio and I'll be back and I'll show you my first meal. All right, guys. So I just got home from the gym. Uh, I'm about to make my breakfast. I got here ingredients for making the egg. Egg beater omelet. I got one fourth cup chopped onions, a cup of egg beaters, two ounces of turkey. Um, use Pam butter spray, and I use reduced sugar ketchup. I use one carb per serving. I put three tablespoons on there, and then I got two slices of uh, zero fat cheese. So it's like four grams of protein, three carbs per per slice getting cooked up um, once it gets to this point it's like when it's getting almost ready it's when I throw the cheese on there so I just put it put both my slices of cheese on this side and I put 
put them on this side because when I flip the omelet, I flip it onto it so I get the cheese fully in the omelet in the middle. Um, add a little salt. I usually add um, some pepper at this point, but I just ran out, so that's all I got for that. And um, let the flip in a little bit. Squeeze the excess juice out of it so it hits the pan and gets cooked up. So she's almost ready. And there she is. I'm about to uh, throw some ketchup on this piece and. I'm going to enjoy it. I'll throw the macros up on the screen for you and I'll tally up each meal. And um, at the end of the day, I'll show you exactly what I finished the day with. Alright, guys, so here's my snack meal number two, whatever you want to call it. I got an Insure Light, I got two stalks of celery, and I got Walden Farms uh, bacon ranch dip. That's pretty bang and it makes the celery taste good, good enough. Um, Put the macros on the screen once again. I'm gonna kill this because we're on the way to the first job. And then after that, I'll have my lunch. All right, guys, uh, it's my lunch right here. I got my chicken salad. And what I'll be putting on it is honey Dijon. I got, I think that's how you say it. Uh, zero calorie dressing. Calorie free. This stuff is the best. Uh, and then for my other salad, I'm gonna put this Thousand Island dressing on there. Same thing, zero calories. So I have two of these for lunch, and then that is it for at work, and then I have my one meal before the gym, so I'll see you over there. Alright, in the gym now, didn't get to get my pre-workout meal in, um, had to rush to the gym, had to go pick up my truck from the mechanic, and then go straight to the gym to meet up with Rob to get this training in, because uh, he's going to help me film, so I didn't get to get my pre-workout meal in like I usually do, but uh, yeah, so today's carb uh, low carb day so I do a depletion workout and this is one of two depletion workouts of the week I do Thursday and Friday today's Friday it's my second low carb day of the week um, they're it's supposed to like these workouts are supposed to deplete my carb uh, the glycogen stores and my muscles um, you know because I have a refeed on Saturday and it sets me up for you know being able to absorb all the carbs I can even past 100% capacity, uh, you know, setting myself up for like a really good power day on Sunday, which is very important um, to be able to gain strength. So there's, that's like my biggest day to maintain my strength, track my numbers. So having the refeed on Saturday sets me up for that, and I'm able to do that because I have these two carb depletion days, and I train accordingly. Um, you know, it's it's fast pace. Uh, 15 to 25 reps, low to moderate intensity. Um, it's mostly just to deplete the muscles, not tear them down completely. But it's just, I feel like it's also like a good recovery. I'm not sure about that, but I feel like I'm getting blood in all my muscles that I trained during the week, but I'm also not hitting them super hard. So it's a, it's a good day. I really like this day, actually. Uh, it's quick, and I get a great pump. So I do um, three sets of everything. Uh, you know, hit full body, three sets of everything, 15 and 25 reps, 30 seconds rest uh, is how I try to time it. And I do it all the way through, and then I do it all over again. So it's two cycles through, um, of the three reps, and then I do it again, three reps of everything again. So it's like six sets total of everything, high reps, you know, not to complete failure, a few reps short of failure. Uh, and that's pretty much it. It's not like an exciting workout or anything, so I'm not going to like put any edit on it or have raw footage, but I thought I'd talk about what it's for and what it does. Um, a couple of the benefits of doing the refeed day, so this is what, because this is what leads up to it, I thought I'd talk about. Um, it increases the hormone in your body called leptin, which is what controls your metabolism. So it lets your body, like, it's it's just what lets your body know if you're being underfed or in a you know overfed state. 
so you know it adjusts the metabolism this is what keeps my metabolism up so during the week when I'm on low calories my body doesn't just get acquainted to it and this helps me break through plateaus or stop from ever getting any plateaus and um, it's just a good thing so it spikes leptin levels which supports fat loss and keeps me uh, gives me energy through the um, you know for at least Sunday and then it usually carries through for a couple days and then I start to feel drained again but then uh, yeah then the workouts actually get easier throughout the week because it's Thursday Friday so these workouts are easier than typical these days I'm pretty drained but it's not that hard so it's perfect I love it um, good cardio too uh, keeps the heart rate going the whole time because it's fast paced it's just an overall good workout that I like to do um, this is what my coach has me doing it's, uh, yeah, he's very, uh, very educated guy. I'm gonna plan on getting him on here on the channel soon uh, to talk about some more things because he knows a lot more than I do. I think uh, some good information from him will be good for the channel and uh, to tell you like more of, of, of why I do what I do because uh, there's some things I do that he tells me to do and I, I don't, honestly don't know exactly why the full science behind it. I do ask him a lot of questions because I, I want to learn as much as I can from him, but uh, he's still just like. When he talks, I just listen because he knows so much, and it's it's really cool to learn a lot from him. Um, I've been training for seven years and all that, and studying all the time, and I you know I thought I knew a lot, and you know I got a good basic concept. Like if I want to lose weight, I can gain weight, I can build strength, you know I can. But like everything he knows is just taking it to that next level. So I'm very happy to have him as a coach. He's gonna um, really benefit me. You know, through this, through this cut, of course, get me ready for the show. I don't know if I could do it without him. Probably not, or not nearly as well. Um, holding way more muscle than I usually do. Doing it his way to carb cycling, I usually see the same flat calories every day, and my training is just you know doesn't change at all or anything like that. So, yeah, everything he has me doing has been working so far. Um, feeling pretty good. Not like completely drained all the time. Getting used to not eating a lot of food. So I feel all right. I'm not starving all the time, but yeah. And also, I'm gonna. I plan on keep my coach for the lean bulk. You know, pretty much. I don't know what I'm gonna do next show. It might be another this time again next year. So give me like almost a full year of uh, putting on as much muscle as I can because I would love to move up the classic if possible. Or maybe I'll even compete in physique and classic because I'll be like in the middle. But uh, yeah, I don't know. So here's a little f uh, physique update five weeks out um, one day short of five weeks out and practicing my posing a little bit uh, I've been working on it just a little bit probably got definitely gonna step that up uh, that was the front and a little side turn for some reason I have a little trouble flexing my abs doing turning to the left I'm not used to turning this way I usually like when I flex my side I turn the other way but uh, there's my lats uh, that's not even a pose doing a, a back double by unfortunately it's like my favorite pose can't do it um, I do like the classic poses see if we practice them a little bit here so that's really what I want to end up doing but for now it's just not the case um, definitely getting a lot leaner been seeing a lot of progress in the last two weeks I've seen the most like weekly um, something else I've really noticed has helped is really incorporating ab training heavy ab training my abs, uh, since I've never really trained them, have developed a little bit, um, for sure. So that concludes that. All right, guys. So just got back. Well, actually, I didn't just get back from the gym. I got back to the gym, from the gym about an hour and a half ago. Got caught up doing something. Um, I haven't eaten since like I think it was been like since one o'clock. I just uh, I hardly ever go this long without eating. But I actually feel okay. Like I was starving a while ago, and I kind of just went away when I went to the gym and worked out. I had to get to the gym. Um, when uh, my friend Rob was there so he could help me film and we wanted to work out together so I rushed over there I didn't have my pre-workout meal but I'm eating right now what I usually eat for my pre-workout meal which is like my favorite meal of the day I look forward to it after work it's a it's a very filling meal tastes great love it um, I'll show you what I got I got my right here I got nine ounces of tilapia um, I got three servings of mashed cauliflower mashed potatoes I mean it tastes like it tastes really good I don't know if it tastes exactly like mashed potatoes but I've been eating this all the time so I'm used to I love it and then I got my four cups of broccoli and I put a lot of salt on that and 
butter spray. So this is good for my potassium and sodium intake for the day. Uh, it's also good for my potassium and my tilapia. So I'm, coach has me tracking my potassium and salt. I, I pretty much eat the same thing every day, so I'm getting above four grams each each day, which is what he has me doing right now. Um, it's been great. I got this meal, and then I mean, right now it's 8:30, so I got this meal, and I got another. A big omelet to eat later and I get to have a little snack too so I got a lot of eating tonight to do um, it'll probably result in a heavier weigh-in tomorrow morning than I probably really am because uh, I'm gonna be eating late but maybe I'll sleep in a little bit because I don't have to be up real early for work tomorrow um, so yeah we'll see how it plays out in the scale but I'm excited to eat I'm ready to go and uh, see you guys at our next meal boom uh, not my next meal exactly, but here's a little snack because I have a few extra carbs. I have 12 carbs remainder after I, I plan out my omelet already and everything I'm going to put on that. So I have uh, three rice cake thins, which is 12 carbs all together. And then I have zero calorie Walden Farms uh, marshmallow spread. And I'm going to put some caramel syrup on there as like a little dessert for my uh, last meal. And then in a little bit, I'll be having my... Uh, um, Booyah! Alright, here's my last meal of the day. Um, it's only about 9.30. I crammed all these in pretty quick. I messed up. Um, I planned my last, my omelet out. Um, it's supposed to be one and a half cups egg beaters, two servings of turkey, uh, a little bit of onions, and two slices of not fat cheese. And no, and, and two, yeah, and two whole eggs because my fats were really low. I was going to hit my, it would have hit that would hit my macros on really on the dot today uh, but then I went to make my omelet and I realized I didn't have that much egg whites so I tried to um, I put I had half a cup of egg whites and then I had two my two egg holes and then I tried to crack to um, two egg whites and like I spilled just the egg whites in on the first one the second one then I dropped the whole egg in there and on accident into the bowl so I was like ah whatever so that put me five grams over my fat um, it put me about 12 grams on my proteins for today Car uh, carbs still just about on point uh, the calories still right on point but I messed up the fats and proteins because of that um, I was a little upset when I went to the fridge and found out you know I didn't have enough but whatever I was gonna hit him on a dot close enough I guess um, still stay under the calories which is most important but I enjoy this last meal and that concludes this uh, today's video.